Hello, good morning everybody. My name is Ruben Gonzalez, owner of Ruben's Ranch in the city of Coachella. Uh, we're gonna do a little tour around the property. Uh, we're gonna start here at the Cantina, the world famous Cantina, which is right in front of me here. What we've done, we have an accumulation of art pieces that we've uh, accumulated over the course of, I don't know, probably 20 years. That's what you see hanging on the on top of the bar. This is an old safe here, probably from the turn of the century. It's on the property. Pretty cool little piece. We have a bunch of murals here that were done by a graffiti artist from Mexico City, uh, probably, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago. This is the entryway into the cantina here. It says the Rancho Grande Cafe. The Rancho Grande Cafe, the original sign was downtown the city of Coachella. And it was a pretty popular little spot there, uh, right next to the uh, Jalisco on the corner of Vine Street and Sixth Street. But uh, this, this bar was right next door. Uh, my friend bought it that owns Jalisco's and he actually uh, gave me the sign and I repaired the neon on it on both sides. But uh, they shot a bunch of movies throughout the years and in in, in, at that location, I think the last movie they shot was Bugsy with Warren Beatty. So if you see when he's going to the airport, uh, you can see a depiction of that same sign there. This is a jail, so when people get drunk and don't act right, we put them in that jail there. But that jail was actually, the Salton Sea was a, a pit stop for one of the uh, events they used to do in the Salton Sea. This is the front of the cantina here. You see the scooter up on the on the bar there. I think the guy had a little bit too much to drink. Yeah, that's where he landed, so it ended up staying there. This is a tortuga. It's, this, it's designed like the the center of the Aztec calendar. I had a gentleman from Mexico City that was an expert on the Aztec calendar and he did some presentations back in 2012 here. But a turtle always has 13 squares and natives believe that the turtle represented Mother Earth. So that's what we did here. We, the top of the stage has, uh, the center has the Aztec calendar and it has 13 squares. So if you look at the center of the Aztec calendar, that's the way this stage was designed. La Tortuga, Mother Earth. And we've had so many amazing events here, a, a lot of different groups. One of the last uh, videos that was shot here, probably a little over a year ago, was uh, Riza with the Wu-Tang Clan. And they shot it right here on top of the stage here. This is a depiction of uh, Coyo Chocli, which is a moon god, sister of Hichilipochtli, the sun god. Uh, I was in Mexico City in 1980. Uh, they found her in 78 uh, in the middle of Tiempo Mayor, which was the epic center of Tenochtitlan, the center of, uh, of the city of the Aztecs built in Mexico City, which is now the main catedral where the Zócalo is at and the presidential palace. But on the corner, there were some utility workers uh, doing some digging and they found her in 78. When I was there in 80, they had just started the excavation. Uh, Eduardo uh, Montezuma, one of the fame uh, archaeologists in um, Mexico took on that excavation and it was over the course of over 40 years but uh, they, they kind of uh, excavated that whole area but she came out of uh, out of that excavation so the beautiful depiction this is an eight foot rendering uh, the original was 10 feet uh, we decided eight, 10 feet would be a little bit too big for the space so we did the replica of her uh, at eight feet I think she came out beautiful These are some recycled benches that we use bottles uh, to make these benches with mosaic. Uh, I, I, I built these personally with another friend of mine, Art Blanco, that helped me on them. So we did this one here, we did that one, the one in the back over here. This is another one, another one here. This area here is called El Courtyard del Gachupin. The Gachupin was a name that the natives in Mexico gave to the Spaniards. Uh, I think it was because of the resentment of what they had done to the natives in Mexico in terms of you know, taking their culture and religion and everything. So, you know, the Virgin Mary, we got Catholicism with the crosses. We did this mosaic here, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years ago. And the Conquistador with the shield and stuff. If you look at the ground here, there's a mosaic here uh, depicting uh, Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent, his mouth open, and the, the eye is 
That's his eye, the green, at the bottom of his, on the top of his, his jaw with his mouth open. All the heads are, originally, I, when I seen them was in Teotihuacan, in Mexico, outside of Mexico City. I was there in 80. It's part of my inspiration also to build what I've done. Love, be love beauty, love and happiness. And one of them, and the other one is Mother Earth. I love the ring god and then the wing god here on the side. We have some masks, Native American masks. That's Pakal from Palenque, one of the emperors. We have a depiction here of, um, of the city of Coachella. Khalifas, and we've used uh, four different mediums. One of them is a license plate from Magnet from, from the, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, and 80s. So another friend, Oscar Guevara, one of our resident uh, artists that's uh, done a bunch of stuff out here too. So he's one of the guys that, that me and him put that together. And then this is uh, the Aztec calendar we stamped for them. So eventually this will just be a little area where you could just relax, a little lounge. We have a bread, a bread oven on this side. This is Chuck Mool here. Chuck Mool is, uh, we're doing the double-headed serpent behind him also. Chuck Mool was also uh, found in uh, Tiempo Mayor, which was the epic center of the Aztec Empire in Mexico City. Doing an upside down root tree, and they were doing a bunch of other 3D art. We have some Quetzal birds 3D with the leaves there. It'll be a jungle scene. We're doing a big aviary on, on the back part of the property. This is a dinosaur that we're working on. Eventually, we'll have his, we're gonna do his legs, his feet, and you could sit around it and do some type of pavers or hardscape on it where people could hang out underneath the, the big dinosaur. This building here is called Canton de los Olmecas, and basically what it is, it's House of the Olmecs, paying tribute to all the old spirits. The Olmecs were the original indigenous tribe, but it's Canton, Canton is slang for house, so it's House of the Olmecs is, is what we named the, the building here. This is a kitchen here, Café y Arte. Another sign that I picked up years ago, and it was actually an old German sign, probably uh, done in the 20s or 30s, and we changed the name to Vato Loco. If you look at the patina on the, on, on the sign, it still has all these real cool colors, and we left that and tried to keep the integrity of the old sign, and we, so it's the Vato, Vato Loco Café. People come out here and they really, really enjoy it. It's just uh, it's good energy and we want to just keep it that way and invite everybody to come out and, and visit. The time the space is open for for rental, special events, corporate events, all, all that stuff. So you could reach me at 760-275-7958. Again, my name is Ruben Gonzalez. The location is called Ruben's Ranch in the city of Coachella. Thank you so much.